Hey guys, what is going on? It is Echo and welcome back to another GTA Online video on my channel. Now today in this video, I'm going to be discussing why removing the modded money wasn't so bad after all and why we could see heists and stock market sooner rather than later. Now I know every time GTA Online does get a new update, the number one tweet, the number one question, the number one YouTube comment I get is did they add anything relating to heists or stock market? Now it's always no, which is very demotivating. So I feel Rockstar now need to introduce heists to keep people entertained. Now I fully understand they didn't add heists or stock market while the modded money was around. That's fully understandable because if they did, the stock market and heists would be abused, meaning people would have more insane money than they did when the mods were around. Now we do know heist will 100% be introduced into the game along with stock market because not only for the coding in the game does display that heists are available but when Rockstar first announced that GTA Online was coming out they did a silly mistake by announcing that heists would be coming out in a couple of weeks from release of GTA Online. We are now a couple of months down the line and we've heard nothing regarding heists. If it wasn't for smart people going into the coding and finding these audio files related to bank heists and casino gambling, so these things have been found inside Rockstar's files. Although Rockstar haven't came out and admitted it, we know that they are there and we also know 100% that heists will be introduced. Now the only reason why I believe Rockstar would delay heists any longer is because they know people have money available at the moment. When they did remove the modded money, they balanced people's accounts giving them between 50,000 and I believe 500,000. So they know there is still money available on players. So the reason why they would delay it any longer is because they want people to spend this money. I know when I'm playing GTA Online now, because there's no modern money, I am very careful what I buy, what I spend it on. I'm trying to do more missions, trying to earn more money. Because once all this money is gone, because the cash payouts for missions, etc. are very low, it's going to be hard for me to earn money to do heists. So this is why Rockstar want people to buy their shark cards, the cash cards and spend their real life money just to have heists available. Now I don't think this is fair and I don't think any company should do microtransactions. There's been a lot of community discussion about this, not only on this game but other games that people play on. Don't forget you're spending $60 or £40 on a game. This is every single person who wants this game so they are making enough. A lot of companies are becoming very greedy and I can understand that GT Online does need cash to generate etc because they have servers, they have bills. That's understandable but Rockstar are a multi-billionaire company. I feel like they need to give back to their community and heist is that one thing that people have waited since day one along with stock market. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little bit of a discussion. These are my opinions. And a lot of them are based on what I know from playing GTA Online for a long time and based on my gaming knowledge altogether. But I want to know in the comments, do you feel that we need heists now? Do you feel it's the right time to release heists? Or do you feel that like Rockstar are doing what I said and that is waiting for people to spend their money? So my advice to you guys at this current time would be try and keep as much cash on GTA Online as possible. I know it's hard because there's cars you want to buy, there's police chases which you need to pay off. There's many things on GT Online which cost money and I know it's not very easy to keep a substantial amount of cash but overall I do feel having the modded money removed has given us a brighter future, it's given us some faith to look forward to heists. I'm hoping over the next couple of months Rockstar do get their act together and when heists are finally introduced they're not a letdown because let's be honest. If heists are let down, then GT Online over the next couple of months will suffer until a next gen version is released and the PC version. I've been Echo. I hope you have fully enjoyed this. I want to know your feedback, guys. I want to know your comments because I like to see them. I like to read them. And I like to think people have their own opinions pretty similar to mine. You might have them completely different. That is all up to you. I mean, everyone is different. But I feel that the modern money gone now means that we can focus on bigger and better things. I mean, limited cash is very, very frustrating. And I have to admit, the mods and the RP mods and everything that was going on was great fun for about a week. Then after that, it got abused and a lot of people started to get very, very bored. Rockstar did see that. Hopefully, they have sorted their security. That is the number one issue and the number one thing people are worried about. 
Apart from that, I'm Echo. I want to see your comments down below. I want to see your own opinions. If you did enjoy this video, remember to hit that like button because it's highly appreciated. Hope you have a great weekend and I'll catch you next time.